let's take a look at multiplying a three-digit number, 754, times a one-digit number, three. I'm going to show you two different methods, and then you can decide which method you like best. So the first method is going to be the box method. You'll notice I have three boxes side by side, and the way I choose how many boxes is based on the number of digits. So 754 has three digits, so I need three boxes. Now I'm going to write 754 in its expanded form as 700 plus 50 plus 4. Notice I wrote that across the top of the box. And then on the side of the box, I put a three for the times three part. So very important, we're using the expanded forms of the numbers on the outside of the box. Now let's fill the box. We'll do 700 times three to get our first box. Here's a little trick on this one. You can do seven times three, this gives you 21. And then you're gonna add two zeros. I'm adding two zeros because 700 had two zeros. So seven times three is 21, and then two zeros. That's gonna give me 2,100. Let's go to the next box. For this box, I'm gonna do 50 times three. Again, use the shortcut. Five times three gives you 15, and add a zero on the end gives you 150. Last box, four times three is gonna give you 12. Now, to get our answer for 754, we're going to add 2,100, 150, and 12. We're going to add all of the numbers that were inside of the boxes. I want you to be real careful and make sure you line up those digits so your place values are correct. And then you can add 2,262 for our answers. I hope you like the box method. I do. I think it's super fun uh, because I can actually see all of the zeros involved. Now I'm going to show you a second method. It's called the standard method. And for this one is where we stack the numbers. So I want to look at that row that has the blue, green, and red in it. That's where I'm going to put 754. Then I'm going to put the three in the black box. And now I'm going to multiply. I want to start on the far right side. So I'm going to multiply the red box times the black box. Four times three. I'm going to put the two in the red box at the bottom, and I have to carry my one. Next, I'm going to multiply the black box times the green box. Three times five gives me 15. But before I write that down, I have to carry my one at the top. So three times five is 15. Add my carried one makes 16. So I'm gonna put a six in the green box and a one in the carried box at the top above the blue square. Now let's multiply the black times the blue. Three times seven gives 21. Don't forget your carried one is gonna make 22. And again, you see, I get the same answer as I did with the box method. So you can decide which method you like and which one you feel more comfortable with. Let me know in the comments below which method you choose.